this weekend I went to a blogging conference, uh, technically blog camp, but it is a blogging conference, yes. And here are some things that you need to expect when you go to a blogging conference. Number one thing to expect at a blogging conference is that loads of people will know who you are and you won't have a clue who they are. So here's a tip for you. Perfect this. Hi, great to see you again. Oh, I know who you are. You're, take a look at their name badge. Kirsty, hello. Or Becky, hello. Hi, great to see you. Yeah. And so, um, yes, and then you are good to go. Number two thing to expect at a blogging conference is that everybody loves coffee. Every single person um, who goes inside has to have at least during the day 14 cups. Yeah, at least. <laughs> well, it's very long, so. But when you walk in, there's immediately about five coffee machines and there's uh, four upstairs as well. So, coffee, coffee, coffee. Aww. The third thing to know about a blogging conference is that you'll pick up lots of tips about your writing. For example, the thing I heard, no, sis, I said thing, and uh, the thing I learned about the writing is that it's important to use alliteration in your writing. Not entirely sure what alliteration is, but let's use it everyone. So number four. So number four is that it's important to listen and take notes while you are in the conference. So, or you can watch Gilmore Girls on your mum's iPad with your headphones on. Either is excellent. The number five thing is that not everyone dresses up for the blogging conference. For example, some people all stress about what they're going to wear. OMG, I forgot to do my hair. And uh, lots of people do that, but you could just wear jeans and Converse and maybe a t-shirt. I wore a t-shirt that said awesome on it. And this. Converse sleeveless jacket. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, so, also, uh, my mum's friend Vicky, who blogs at Honest for Mum, she wore a lot of makeup and big hair and a glamorous dress and high heels, and I thought that she looked like one of the Saturdays. I met the Saturdays doing razzmatazz. The sixth thing you'll notice about a blogging conference is that there's a lot of food. I like the cookies and the cake and the milk and the hot chocolate and everything like that. Wasn't so keen on the chicken with paprika or the quiche or that stuff. But luckily for lunch, someone went and got me a McDonald's from round the corner. So the sad bum thing to know about a blogging company is that people can talk. You have to do vocal warm-up exercises, recommending about six hours, three weeks, 14 seconds of practice before you go to a blocking conference. It's because there's so much talking. Like whenever I went, there was sounds of all over the place. So this is thing number eight. And thing number eight is people take a lot of photos. For example, people were taking photos during the presentation, coffee break, lunch, other coffee break, all the time. And of course, the last and final thing, most important, is that every blogging conference needs a truly excellent MC, you know, someone to start off a conference, set the tone. Be awesome.
So when I was the MC, uh, I was quite nervous at the beginning, uh, and I was just like, uh, "Hey everybody, this is Blood Encumbrance." Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't really know what to say, but I did introduce it wonderfully. I'm very modest. So uh, it is time to say farewell. I had a very good time at Blood Camp. It was okay, but make sure you bring Gilmore Girls six seasons already. And um, if you ever decide to go to Block Camp, then these tips should be handy. So um, give me a thumbs up if you liked my tips, or just subscribe and put in the in down in the comments any more tips you may have about Block Camp. Thank you and good night.